This time out, we're going to take a look at the Audio Movers by Neural Renderer app. Let's check it out. Have you ever wondered what your Dolby Atmos mix might sound like on Apple Music, but you always have to wait for the project to go live to do that? Well, now you don't have to. There's a revolutionary tool made by audio movers called the Binaural Renderer app. This app allows you to hear how your Dolby Atmos mix will sound on Apple Music in real time. Since you're watching this, I imagine you're a bit like me, consumed with audio related news, plugins, or product releases. Well, a few months ago, I came across this Audio Movers Binaural Renderer app, but I didn't jump into it right away. And I have to admit, I think I was missing out. With the influx of mixing projects that have been coming my way, I'm on the lookout for any way to gain some efficiencies without sacrificing quality. I have to admit, I'm a big fan of Audio Movers and my experience with their products started with their Listen To plugin. The big benefit by using this app is to hear how your Dolby Atmos mix will sound on Apple Music before it's even released. You also have greater flexibility when referencing Dolby Atmos content. Because there are three different rendering modes within the app, you get headphones for music, speakers for music, and headphones for film. All three of these modes reference how your content will play back on Apple Music and Apple TV. All right, let's move over to the computer and I'll show you how to set this up. So if you look at my screen, obviously in the background, you see my DAW, and then we've got the Dolby Atmos uh, renderer which you'll have some preferences here to look at. So let's start there. And to the right here, this is the binaural renderer for Apple Music that we're discussing. Okay, so first off, you need to um, select your input device and your output device. The audio driver will be core audio with the renderer. The input device is gonna be the Dolby Audio Bridge that's receiving uh, signal from the DAW. And then the output device, we're gonna to wanna to change this to the binaural renderer link. All right, so when we hit accept, now let's open up the settings on the binaural renderer app. We do that, similar thing. We need to select an input device and you have some options in terms of copying that input device to an output device, as well as a pair of headphones. So let's take a look. The input device is gonna be whatever your output device of the renderer. In this case, you need that input to go to the binaural render link. So we're gonna select that. That's how we get signal from the renderer into this app. And then you have some options. So let's discuss this copy audio input. So this allows me to assign, um, my studio is Dante based, so that's the selection here. So by selecting Dante virtual sound card, if I do playback from my DAW, you'll hear that output, even though it's going through this app. I mainly use this app for this render output. Most of us will, that's the whole purpose. So what you'll do is take your headphones, AirPod Pros, AirPod Max, or whatever product that you mix into or like to reference your Dolby Atmos mixes on, connect those to your computer, and then they will show up in this list. So as you can see, I've got AirPods Pro selected, and then all you do is, is hit OK. So if I hit play in my DAW, you will see some uh, signal on the binaural renderer app. Cool, pretty straightforward. So as you can see, not every channel is lit up because these are just stems that I just have panned to the left and right. Um, I think I pulled the guitars off the front wall a little bit just to add some uh, information to the left side surround and the right side surround. Um, but pretty much that's it, it's that simple. Once you get this set up and rolling, uh, it's really flexible. What I love is that I can just um, unmute my output here on my monitor controller. I can mix in the room. If at any moment I wanna put my headphones in to reference the binaural, I do that, I just mute the room. There is a little bit of a latency there. 
So uh, yeah, mute the room, put in my headphones, hit play, and then in real time, I'm mixing through this binaural renderer app and hearing what my Dolby Atmos mix will sound like on Apple Music. It's pretty awesome. A cool feature to this app is the ability to add two additional input sources. This allows you to essentially A, B, and C between the Apple Spatial and then two other two-channel audio sources. Those sources can be routed through channels 13 and 14 and then 15 and 16 of your binaural renderer's input device. So something you could do there is route your Dolby binaural and a stereo re-render through the aux inputs. That way you can quickly toggle between the Apple spatial and then to the binaural and onto the stereo if you want. These aux inputs bypass the Apple renderer so it's fully passed through. And I love being wireless using this app. For example, the other night, I got some notes late from a label and I was feeling motivated so I jumped into headphone only mode and started working on the revisions. And as I printed that final file, I began to do some things around the house. I did some laundry, loaded dishes. Uh, the song was like eight minutes long. And um, I, I just love the fact that being wireless and within a certain range, I can step away from the DAW and get out of the sight line of the timeline, if you will. And all of a sudden I'm listening, uh, at least in my brain, I'm listening like a user. And I find things just jump out of me uh, in the mix and then that creates some notes. I can quickly run back to my station and, and update the mix. It's really interesting to see how that binaural version translates to different headphones. It allows me to judge my volume ban balances and any sort of tweaks that I might be making to the mix in the context of those consumer products. It's really helpful. The Audio Movers binaural renderer comes as a desktop application, which is what you've seen on my screen today as well as a plugin for your DAW. If you're interested, there's a free seven day demo for this app and I'll link it in the description. So there you go, there's a little walk through the Audio Movers by Neural Renderer app for Apple Music. As always, thanks for watching. Hit those like and subscribe buttons for me if you found this one helpful and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.